All right, let's get you five things you know to start your day. You might not need to wear a mask on public transportation anywhere in the country anymore. A federal judge struck down the mask mandate yesterday, so now it will be up to each public transportation agency to decide on its own policies. Some changes so far, you will not have to wear a mask in airports, and most major airlines have dropped their mandates as well. Uber also has dropped a mandate. You will still have to wear a mask, though, on metro buses in the Portland area, at least for now. President Biden plans to visit the New Hampshire Port Authority at Portsmouth Harbor today. President Biden is set to talk about some funding from the infrastructure law that will go toward the harbor. It'll go toward accommodating larger ships and heavier loads of cargo. The White House says this money will also benefit the regional economy and lower costs for consumers. Just a few hours to go left to file your taxes. We got an extra day in Maine because yesterday was Patriots Day. You can request an extension, assuming you have power on the internet still. But if you owe the IRS money, you have to send it now. If you file online, the IRS says you can expect your refund anywhere within about three weeks. If you file by mail, though, it's going to take anywhere up to eight months to get your money. A bill designed to change the way our state is addressing the opioid epidemic is a step closer to becoming law. Today, the Maine legislature is expected to send the bill to the governor's desk. The bill would make sure everyone who is present at an overdose scene is exempt from charges for certain crimes. If first responders are called, the point of the law is to have fewer overdose deaths in our state. And one more check of power outages this morning. Central Maine Power is reporting more than 7,300 outages now. That number has been growing throughout the morning. Uh, no outages for Versant, but that could change, I imagine, as the storm picks up steam farther up the state. That's kind of my thought, too. I think that we're going to watch numbers increase a little bit before we see big improvements later on. Currently, uh, gusts are becoming a bit more impressive along the midcoast, and that's only going to get worse uh, for areas down east over the next several hours. The worst of the wind will probably happen before about 2 p.m. today, so we should see improvements through the afternoon. Today is going to be windy. There's some mountains snow. It's rainy out there. Tomorrow looks cool and breezy and the rest of the week is honestly a walk in the park compared to what we're dealing with today. Maybe a couple of late showers Thursday, Friday and Saturday both looking awesome and just a little bit cooler by Sunday with some clouds thickening back up for the start of next week. So you know what's funny? We often get in trouble with viewers if we're complaining because it's too hot or we're getting too much snow. We can complain about today I yeah. think yes. with a get yes. out of jail free card, right? Take care everyone. Try to make